Bristol Brewing is hosting StoryCorps at Ivy Wild. Yes, yeah, starting today, the doors of their Airstream Radio Studio are open, providing people of all backgrounds and beliefs with a chance to record the stories of their lives. John Martin joins us live with more. Hey, good morning, Craig and Allison. That's exactly what's going on. We are in the back of this beautiful Airstream. Let me kind of explain to you, or maybe I shouldn't explain to you, <laughs> what StoryCorps is. This is Emily. You're, you're the moderator, facilitator of people coming in here, sitting behind these microphones, and just telling stories. Exactly. For the purpose of what, I suppose? Yeah, so um, here at StoryCorps, mm -hmm. people come and sit down just like we are. Come yeah. with someone that you care about, that you want to have a conversation with, and you record the conversation about whatever's important to you in your life. Um, and then you have that for your personal legacy. We give you a copy of that recording. So right. it's just there for you and your family. Um, but then also we collect them in an archive at the American Folklife Center at the Library of Congress. So we're creating this treasure. Um, of, of who we are as a country and who we are as a people. And it's your job to kind of travel around and do this. This has been in existence since, I guess, 2005. Mm -hmm. uh, so you're going from coast to coast, everywhere in between. I mean, what kind of stories do you hear? I mean, it, it must be just absolutely fascinating. I'd love e eavesdropping on people's conversations, <laughs> but I can imagine hearing in the right atmosphere like this. I mean, you just must hear fascinating stories from people all walks of life. We do. We hear. Um everything. So this is such an intimate space yeah. that we've created here um, and people do sit down and have really honest conversations with each other about their lives often. Um, it's different everywhere we go. You get a little different flavor of each place. Right. When we were in New Orleans we heard about Mardi Gras Indians and a lot about music and that's different than when we were in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. It's just different everywhere but um, people talk about what's important to them yeah. and so often that means they talk about family and love and um, struggles they've had and, and celebrations they've had. And, and so we hear a lot of that, these intimate um, remembrances of people's daily lives. And it goes on to NPR's Morning Edition. That's the place where you can hear these stories after they've kind of gone through all the, 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 the levels of making sure everything's okay and it makes sense for people. Where else can people go, one, to sign up, and two, just to hear more about this as we're kind of wrapping up here? Yeah, um, our website is www.storycore.org, and that's story, C-O-R-P-S. Nice. Um, so you can go there, first of all, to make a reservation for while we're here in Colorado Springs, um, and then you can listen um, to lots of stories um, that we've recorded so far. You can watch some short animated features that we've made out of some over, of those. Yeah. Um, and then later on, you can listen um, on KRCC, your local public radio station. Right. Well, it's a heck of a thing. We'll get more into it as the morning progresses here. We're parked at Ivy Wild. You know, our shift is over in just a little bit, so we might go in there, have a couple, then come tell some really <laughs> interesting stories. But for now, guys, it's a heck of a thing. Yeah, it's NPR's Morning Edition. This is a, a nationwide event, so it's a cool thing to check out. Uh, again, if you go to storycorps.org, you can find out more information. And, yeah, get involved, I guess. All right, John, thank you. It would be nice just to go and sit there and have a just a real conversation and just, just let it fly, right? Yeah, and it really makes you think about, like, what story would I share? What you know? would you share? Yeah. Any idea yet? No? No, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't. That's why I had to think about it.